Hello everybody, good evening. Today is Thursday, the 1st of November 2012. So, uh, yeah, 1st of November. It'll be 2013 before we know it. And obviously for November, of those of you who are aware, um, it is also Movember, which pretty much is uh, the month of where men would like to grow their uh, their, their tashes um, to recognise um, prostate cancer for men. So um, if you're doing that for a good cause, good luck. And I'm sure we'll see some epic tashes appearing. And speaking of which, um, Stephen Amell, obviously, who plays... Um, <coughs> Oliver Queen, Green Arrow on the on the on the CW show, Arrow um, has actually updated his Twitter profile with his um, face with a with, with a tash. So it kind of suits him as the older version of uh, Oliver Queen. So have a look at his Twitter account and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, so in, so this is uh, talking about last night's um, brilliant episode uh, titled um, "An Innocent Man," and this time the uh, next person on the list is a guy by the name of Jason Brodeur who has been um, dumping toxic waste into like the glades and it's sort of affected other areas in particular um, uh, w- with that one it's like basically what he's done is he's framed someone um, and they're, they're pretty much on death row so they've got two days left um, before before they're, 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 they're put you know on a permanent sleep and um, Jason's pretty much you know rubbing his hands together about that um, <clears throat> Oliver stumbles upon the news when he couldn't sleep one night and him and Mia are both up watching the TV pretty late and uh, it was on it was on the news um, so that's how he learns about that story and um, it's interesting how that all pans out he gets um, Laurel involved and um, much to Quentin Lance's um, disagreement you know Laurel goes ahead with um, trying to you know, testify against Brodor to, uh, you know, prove Declan's innocence. Now, while all this is going on, right, I was actually very intrigued oh, that, in particular, uh, with Walter Steele, he um, he was looking further into, um, you know, money that has gone missing, $2.6 million, um, which is not easy to hide on anyone's account. So he's, um, he's investigated... You know this mission to and two two point six million dollars, and he enlists the help of who I can only now dub as my favourite female geek, um, even more so than um, Autumn Reese's um, was it Kate from No Ordinary Family? Yeah, Felicity Smoke. Ha! Huh. Yes, sorry, she is purely smoking hot. She is just she is so bumbling. It is it is not even funny. Um, so he enlists her help because she's awesome and um, it's how she arrives to the whole you know just her personality is just fantastic Um, I really love Felicity Smoke so I hope we see more of her because yeah she rocks Um, so anyway um, as I say uh, Walter does eventually stumble upon the uh, you know the, what 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 he finds is not what he expected and the only word I'm going to mention is Tempest what I'm going to say on that one. Um, what else do we have? Um, sugar. I never just watched it again about ten minutes ago. <laughs> um, there was a, there was a mention of uh, Bloodhaven. Don't read too much into it. It was just mentioned. That's all it was. And if you saw the trailer last week, it was mentioned. You know that Bloodhaven was going to be, you know, mentioned in this episode. But like I say, don't read uh, too much into it anyway. Um, what else? Um, Oliver Queen, obviously, we, we go back to some flashbacks again to when he was on the island, and he's obviously in the company of this um, Chinese bloke by the name of Yao Fei, I believe that's his name, I hope I've said it right anyway, and um, he's, uh, Yao's trying to show, tell him, you know, how to survive, but obviously, um, Oliver can't speak Chinese, and he doesn't know if Yao can actually speak um, English as well, so, uh, yeah, and that f- pretty much heavily gives you an idea as to what the episode itself was all about and especially towards the end and um, we also get obviously John Diggle can't forget about him we love John Diggle um, we love him so much and um, obviously with the revelation of last week's uh, cliffhanger brings on into it starts off the same you know pretty much the episode kicks off from where it left off last week and um, it's it really was solid between him and Oliver. Um, Oliver gets a new bodyguard, though. I have to say, I have to mention it, that he gets a new bodyguard, and let's just say Oliver has a, sh- a barrel of fun with this guy. He really does have fun with him. Um, 
so as I say John, John Diggle obviously finds out about Oliver's secret but he's not too sure whether or not he should actually join Oliver um, I'm not, I'm not going to reveal what, what really happens and what, what occurs on, on that front but um, but the way that the show ended oh my god another cliffhanger Never, didn't even expect that to happen all I'll say is that Quinton Lance stumbled upon an idea and let's just say it did not end well for someone that's all I'm going to say but it was such a cliffhanger and I cannot wait to see how it's going to progress next week um, next week's episode called Damaged which will feature Deathstroke okay so I can't wait to see that I really can't wait and um, just quickly on the subject obviously if you did see this episode last night um, for those of you who are big Torchwood and Doctor Who fans a certain John Barrowman guest starred in it last night so look out for him it's just a small appearance but again it's just shaping up for things to come so that's all I'm going to say on that um, what was I going to mention yes so as I say um, news has just sort of come through as well on Twitter that on the was it the 23rd hang on on the 21st of November uh, which is when the next episode of Arrow is supposed to be airing uh, which I believe is episode 7 which is where we're going to meet Huntress for the first time um, is not actually going to be shown because the CW has decided to show some you know holiday related movies um, so I'm guessing with it being Thanksgiving on that week um, Thanksgiving falls on Sunday the 25th in America Arrow's not going to be airing so I'm guessing it's probably going to be pushed back a week so we'll probably not see it till the 28th of November so uh, yeah cheers CW thank you anyway um, also if you have not got your chance to already I suggest you read the latest issue of um, of Arrow as well chapter 4 it's all about John Diggle um, let me just quickly uh, quickly grab it um, because I read it last night and it was phenomenal it was it was really good um, gives you an insight as to what John is pretty much you know how, how he's arrived to where he is today um, and also gives you a bit more about his brother but there it is that's it there Arrow chapter 4 titled Diggle so do please check that out if you haven't already and if you have let me know what you thought of it but um, again another very solid solid episode um, I can only see good good damn things happening for this for this show um, I'm sure we're going to be in for an epic first season and um, if it gets renewed and it damn well wants to get renewed um, for a second season it would be good to see how, how it progresses but anyway as I say thank you all for watching have a good night I'll see you all later bye